Right, we're going to fit this Vol Sable bin. Uh, absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Uh, obviously, the same manufacturer as that magic corner over there. Make it really, really easy. Uh, once you identify um, the carcass thickness material and the size bin you've got, basically, you've got this um, drilling template. It's really, really easy. So, if you've got a 16 mil template, you basically break off uh, these sections here and overlap them uh, before you put the draw runners on. Um, if you've got a tall bin, um, you, I'm going to break this little bit out here um, and that clips on the bottom so it makes the whole thing higher up and if you've only got the shorter bin obviously you just put them straight in there like that, keep it flush with the front, really is very very simple. So let's just uh, snap this off here, should I really snap, maybe I might have to have a cut it, no got it. So this company are absolutely fantastic. Um, this has actually changed since the last time I fitted one of these, so they're constantly looking to make it easier. And this is where you know where your money goes when you're buying these kind of things. So look, this just uh, snaps off there and just snaps back in. Look, we've got a little a little hole there. Look, it just snaps in. And now that's exactly look. Uh, sorry, that's that way around. Oh yeah, you can't get these left or right because they're actually multi-handed. So. 18mm uh, carcass, so I don't, need to, um, I don't need to break this bit off. So basically, you put that on there like that. Uh, can you see that there? Yeah, tight down to the bottom of the unit. Look, it just couldn't be simpler. This is flush with the front, and then what happens is basically your draw runners just sit in it. Look, I'm, I'm doing this, it's a bit awkward. I'm trying to do it so I'm not in the way and show you as well. Not this much to show, it's so sort of easy. And then basically I'll just pre-drill just to make it easier for myself. Come on. The fixing's already here, yep. Even got posi screws, not um, torque screws. There you go. Couldn't be easier. Now there's one, I'll just double check, I know it says. Uh, where's the screw going in the back? Doesn't matter. So we get one back as well. Lovely. See, look at that. Now it says there is eight of those. Yeah, eight screws. So let's put those in as well. From a fitting point of view, you can't get much simpler than that. And this all stays in, so just do the same on the other side. Uh, let's put that around here. Oh, can you see that? Can you see that? See that there? Let's see what I'm looking at. Yes, there we go. Right. Same again. Just break this bit off here. Just snapped into place. You see that? Come on, fingers and thumbs. There you go. That just goes in there like that. Flush with the front. Let's see if I can do this. Move that round. Oh, just constantly going to get my my head in the way. Let's see how we get on. Not normally sort of fingers and thumbs like this, but I thought it'd be worth showing it because it's a nice bit of kit. What worth the money? There we go. Put those screws in there, left handed. Right. Lovely. Back as well. Go have to go in. I'm going in. I can't do it. Enjoy the back of my head. try and keep my points. I, I bet, buy fairly cheap, the DeWalt fairly cheap points and uh, basically I like to keep a sharp point in. They tend to break before they wear out. So 
don't like that noise of that coming out noise. Do I do a second one there? No. I'm so excited to drill it. The runners in. Right, runners are in. Now what to do is snap this frame in. That just sits on until push it back and fix. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. Probably a nice soft close. Excellent. Now we've got a couple of brackets here that we've got to mount onto the back of the door, and they just slot into there, and they've got lots of adjustment on. So let's get those on now, and that's this job nearly done. It's got to put the bins in, obviously. So I've laid my door out here, and this is the drilling template. It's really easy. I don't know if you can see it. I'll take this up here, get it a bit better look. So basically you've got a multitude of heights. So if you see here, if I'll come this side up, uh, you've got a shorter bin, uh, bins that go in this uh, unit are 323 millimeters, or the taller bins that are 423 millimeters. It's easy enough to identify. Look, there's the bins, you just measure them. They're 423, that means I need to be in these, uh, these markings that are marked red and um, across here you can see that these outside pairs, so this one here and this one here are for a 600 wide carcass. If you get wider carcasses, look, there's basically a, um, you have to add on, there's a, there's a line here. So you basically add on to the end of that. It's, it's all fairly well sort of explained here, look, what you need to do. But fortunately the template, uh, this is a straight template here for a 600, so it's fairly easy for me. So all I've got to do literally is pilot drill uh, these red uh, crosses here uh, on both sides, fix those brackets on, and then that'll pop straight in. So let's get that done now. I'll put a bit of tape on it as well, just to stop it moving around. So yeah, just nice and steady. I don't wanna to go too mad. Don't want to drill all the way through the door at this stage in the job. That would be a disaster. What I did incidentally, I did mention it when I did the Magic Corner video, was um, I did actually pop the uh, brackets in again. I'll just show you that. Just by way of checking, I actually popped the brackets in anyway, so I know exactly where these holes come and just double checked it uh, with this template as well. It's, it's just worth it. Um, it's just worth it because you never know, you know, someone could have made a mistake. Generally, you know, the Germans don't, but it only takes a moment and it could save you a lot of aggro. Right. That's those. Let's get these screw these brackets on. I should really be doing those up with hand, with by. So gentle, I should really be doing that up with a hand screwdriver, but I'm, I've got pretty good control on them. But should be hand screwdriver, really. But there we go. That's it, that's all. I made a rookie error. <coughs> I put the brackets on the wall around. <laughs> put the inside out. What a plum. We'll try that again. So we get it right this time. More haste this speed down the way. There we go. Let's try that through this time. Not taking enough notice of the instructions. Or maybe just getting too excited. Right, let's pull this runner out. on here, I don't know if you can see what shot is that moving like that, can you see what I'm doing there? Not really, I'll put it around here. And then right, so we just got to, it slides over this, uh, this is an adjuster, but it's like got a flange on it. The bottom slides over first, then the top rolls on, so this one slides over. So let's, uh, let's get that in first. That. Okay, same with this one down here. Now we can just 
Mm. Can you see that there? <coughs> you just nip. Uh, there's two bolts that go in there. To keep it, hold it in place. And then these are, they've like got cams on them that you adjust. Do these up fully tighter because once we've adjusted it, we can tighten those up. Some on this side. You can see here what you've basically got is you can see that you've got this one it's like got a cam on it and this adjusts, adjusts the, the door front up and down and this one here adjusts it in and out and once you're happy with that position you then just lock these two off so that's fitting really nicely now there's a shelf to go under here and then i'll just stick the bins in a nice little shelf just to put Jobbed. 